Well, earlier this month, Terre Haute Mayor Duke Bennett presented his plan for the use of the American Rescue Plan funds to the Terre Haute City Council. Yeah, they had a lot of different options that they talked about that day, but part of Mayor Bennett's plan included $500,000 for what's called food deserts. Jen Thompson, she learned more today about what exactly a food desert is and food insecurity in the Terre Haute area. Dana, I reached out to the mayor's office last Friday. They didn't have an exact plan for how the ARPA funds would be used toward food deserts, but knew there was a need. Today, I talked with Terre Haute Catholic Charities and the Terre Haute Boys and Girls Club, both located in a designated food desert neighborhood, to learn more about the need in our community. Food deserts are defined as geographical areas where residents have few to no convenient options for securing affordable and healthy foods, especially fruits and vegetables. Food deserts are typically found in high poverty areas and create extra everyday hurdles that can make it harder for kids, families, and communities to grow healthy and strong. As a food bank, we work with 90 plus organizations across the seven county service area. We know that the majority of the individuals who come to receive emergency food assistance from either directly from us or from one of those 90 agencies that we work with are at or below the federal poverty limit. Food deserts tend to be more common in areas with a smaller population, higher rates of abandoned or vacant homes, and residents who have lower levels of education, lower incomes, and higher rates of unemployment. You know, I was one of those kids a long time ago. I have 10 brothers and sisters, and our dad passed away early, but he was, wasn't a great father. My mother didn't have education, and uh, I have 10 brothers and sisters, and so you know, we were really uh, dependent upon school. So when school went in the summertime, you know, it really was just, you know, whatever we, that my mother could provide for us to eat. You know, it might be hanging out at a buddy's house or in line one week at the government cheese and have all my brothers and sisters with all the same last names get a roll of cheese. And so, you know, I understand and, and really can recognize that those particular kids that say this might be their only meal for the day. Food deserts and food insecurity seem to go hand in hand. Food deserts are identified by searching for low income, low access census tracts. In low access census tracts, 33% or more of residents must travel an inconvenient distance to reach the nearest grocery store. That distance? one mile in urban areas and 10 miles in rural areas. Family income, vehicle availability, neighborhood resources like public transportation also play a role. And when you take a look at um, overlapping, where are those food deserts versus where are those qualified census tracts? We have a lot of them right around where we're standing right now. Up in the avenues here in Terre Haute, um, there are some uh, overlaps around by ISU as well. So I think that there's a lot of opportunity to um, insert some of those funds in these areas where it really makes the most sense and can help the most people. The USDA says environmental, policy, and individual factors shape eating habits and patterns. Strategies for alleviating food desert conditions include incentivizing grocery stores in underserved areas, funding citywide programs to encourage healthy eating, partnerships with the community. Those kids that we serve, which are underprivileged and underserved kids, that probably be the only meal that they get, get that day. And you know, a lot of people may live in a food desert, not even know it. So how can they find out where these food deserts are located? They can actually visit the USDA website. There's an interactive map. Um, and unfortunately, Dana, many areas throughout Vigo County and our surrounding rural communities are all falling under food desert areas. So if someone is looking to make a difference in um, the Terre Haute Boys and Girls Club, as well as the Terre Haute Catholic Charities, are always looking for donors and volunteers. And I'll have that info tonight on our website. All right, okay. thanks so much, Jim. We appreciate that. Good information there.